in a single timeline like this to remove a video clip, all we need to do is to select the video clip that we want to remove and then hit the delete button that will effectively remove the video clip. And this works regardless of the editing mode. So if let's say right now we switch to the trim edit mode, um, we can still go ahead and perform the same tasks. We can go ahead and select the video clip that we want to remove, hit the delete button, and it works exactly the same. All right, let's come back and go ahead and remove another one. And what you may have noticed at this point is that we're left behind, we're left with a gap once we uh, delete a video clip using the delete button. And if you don't want this gap, what you could do is to select the gap and then hit the delete button again. And this will make sure that the gap is bridged. And by connecting the video clips that precede as well as follow after. So this is a two-step process. And if you don't want to do this two-step process, what you could do is a something called ripple delete. And to perform a ripple delete, we will go ahead and select the video clip that we want to remove, go to the edit drop-down menu. And in the drop-down menu, we'll go ahead and select ripple delete. What this will do is essentially just perform the two-step process that we just did, but automatically at once. So this is essentially what a ripple delete is. And the best part is that there is also a keyboard shortcut, shift and delete. So by hitting shift and delete, we just performed a ripple delete and it's much, much faster this way. All right, so uh, in some cases, you know, when we're doing and trying or when we're removing video clips, we're left with this kind of situation where you have multiple gaps in the timeline. And if you wanna, now you can go ahead and remove each gap individually, but if you don't wanna do that, uh, you can go ahead and go to the edit drop-down menu and just hit the delete gaps option. And unfortunately, there is no keyboard shortcut, but if we go ahead and just hit the delete gaps, you will notice that all the bridge, all the gaps are automatically bridged. And so this is uh, very helpful if you have this sort of situation. All right, next we're gonna look at how do we select a range of video clips and remove them. Okay, so you could, what you could do is just use your mouse and select the range of video clips that you wanna remove. Uh, you can definitely do this, but let's say you wanna be more precise in terms of what range of video clips you want to remove, you can go ahead and use the set an in point by hitting the I key. Uh, and then you can hit it, select the out point by hitting the O key. And what this will, will do essentially just define the range of video clips that you want to remove. And once this range is defined, you can just go ahead and hit the delete button. And this will make sure that the video, that range of media, that range of clips is deleted. And if you want to remove the gap, just go ahead and select the gap and hit the delete button again. And this will make sure that the gap is bridged. And when we are trying, when we select range of video, uh, range of uh, video clips like this, we can also perform ripple delete as well. So it works exactly the same. Uh, once the range is selected, we can just go ahead and, and hit shift and delete, and this will perform ripple delete. So this is great if let's say you want to delete multiple video clips, but you want to be very precise in terms of what the video clips or what the range of video clips you want, you want to remove. When we have multiple timelines like this, things work a little bit differently, but it's still pretty straightforward. Now to go ahead and remove video clips from individual timelines, we just need to select the video clip, hit the delete button, and this will effectively remove the video clip. So this still works exactly the same. Now where things get a little bit tricky is that once we remove the video clip and we proceed to close the gap, now notice what happens is that once we close the gap, certain video clips from the other timeline will get squeezed out. It will get lost uh, to in order for this operation to happen. Now let's look at another example to get a better idea. Let's go ahead and this time and remove a video clip uh, from the second timeline and then we'll proceed to close the gap. And then notice what happens is that certain part of the video uh, eclipse from the first timeline at the end there get squeezed out in order uh, to close the gap in the second timeline. So this is something to understand because by default, uh, uh, both timelines are connected. So in order to, for this not to happen, what we need to do is to make sure that all select option for the timeline uh, which we don't want to be affected is turned off. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off auto select for the second timeline here. 
And then I'm gonna、uh, go ahead and、uh, remove the video clip from the first timeline, and then proceed to close the gap there as well. And then let's see what happens. Perfect. So only the first timeline、uh, changed, and nothing from the second timeline gets impacted. Let's do another example here. We'll close the gap once again.、Uh, it only worked、uh, on the. It only changed the first timeline, and nothing from the second timeline changed. So this works the same with Ripple Delete as well. So by default, you know both timelines are connected. So if we go ahead and perform Ripple Delete in the first timeline. Notice that certain video clips from the second timeline will get squeezed out. So,、uh, in order for this to not happen,、uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off auto select for the second timeline. Then we will perform ripple delete in the first timeline. Beautiful. So only the first timeline changed. Now I'm gonna do the opposite and、uh, turn the auto select off for the first timeline. And then let's go ahead and perform ripple delete for the second timeline here. Perfect. So only the second timeline gets impacted. And nothing from the first timeline gets changed at all. Okay, beautiful. Let's look at one more scenario. Okay, so sometimes we have this. We may have you know run into this kind of scenario where you have multiple gaps across multiple timelines. So in situations like this, let's say you want to only remove gaps, remove all the gaps、uh, only in the first timeline. So to do that, we just need to make sure that auto select is turned off for the second timeline. And then we'll go ahead and select delete gaps, as you saw from the from previous part of this video. Now, this will do is close all the gaps only in the first timeline. And then the opposite also works. If we go ahead and just turn off turn on the、uh, auto select for the first timeline, but turn off for the first timeline, and then we'll go ahead and hit the delete gaps option. This will、uh, go. They'll go ahead and remove all the gaps, but only in the second timeline. And all the gaps in the first timeline remain intact. Okay, perfect. So now, if you know, if we actually don't turn off any auto select for any timeline, and now naturally you think that if we go ahead and hit the delete、uh, gaps option, this will re just remove all the gaps from you know all timelines, but. It actually doesn't work like that. So if we go ahead right now and just delete gaps with auto select turned on for both timelines, you will notice that only the gap that is、um, that that are present in both、uh, timelines are deleted.、Uh, so all the other gaps are still present, are still intact because they are more unique to that timeline. So this is something to keep in mind. When you're trying to delete all gaps,、uh, uh, you know from multiple、uh, from multiple timelines. All right, guys,、uh, this is it、uh, for this video. Hope you enjoy, and I will see you next time.